And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, tonight we go back to 1987 where there wasn't a, a significant severe weather outbreak, but we had one little supercell that caused an F1 tornado late on April the 14th, so the cleanup continued. This mainly affected farms from near Sharpsville to near Hemlock, from Tipton to Howard counties, and there were a total of four tornadoes in addition to this one uh, in southeastern Iowa and western Illinois. And there was a little pea and marble size hill in the area, but that particular storm that produced the tornado did produce some hail up to ping pong ball size and a few gusts of 60 miles an hour. There is the storm. This is 7 a.m. on April the 14th. You can see the warm front south of here lifting northward. And as the storm kind of pivoted uh, here to our southwest, we had a spoke of showers and storms pivot northward. And we had the tornadoes out here to our west, and then we had the one tornado in the large hail here in our eastern counties. Now, we've got warmer, windy weather on the way after a cold, frosty night, but at least a few widely scattered showers and thunder showers Friday. Cold Friday night, but it is looking a little better for Saturday and Sunday. We'll talk more about that coming up. But good news tonight, the center of the high is moving eastward, so the coldest weather will be mainly east of our viewing area tonight. It's still going to be cold here, mid to upper 20s, but low 20s will tend to be east of here as our warm front approaches and even a few high thin clouds and our winds will go to the southeast late. So temps will level off between 24 and 27 degrees. Now tomorrow, strong winds from the south, 56 Lafayette, 57 Pine Village, and 52 Logansport. Much warmer, but the wind will add an edge to the air despite all the ample sunshine around. And windy on Thursday, partly cloudy. Highs from 61 at Rensselaer to 66 Lafayette and 64 at Burlington. There are the clear skies tonight, perhaps a few high thin cirrus clouds by mid morning tomorrow, and a few high thin cirrus clouds tomorrow afternoon. It's partly cloudy tomorrow night, partly cloudy on Thursday, right through Thursday afternoon with all the wind around. No rainfall expected till Friday as this little clipper right here moves to the southeast and brings a little rain for Friday. Highs mid to upper 50s, then falling, I think, late in the day. And Saturday's looking a little better. I just updated this 7 a map, so it's not updated yet, but I'm shooting more for like 59 Saturday. And it now looks kind of doubtful whether we'll even get down to 32 Saturday night. Saturday night. It's probably going to be more like mid and upper 30s as the warm air gets in here a little bit quicker. So that's good news. And then back up to 64 Sunday, 68 on Monday. All right. Well, there's a lot of drama here in this uh, next seven days worth of weather. There's been a lot more drama than anticipated with the Pacers and their season.